Now with the pandemonium in our nation's capital, the three giant pandas set to lead the Smithsonian's National Zoo this morning. Trevor is there with the latest on why they're heading back to China. We already know what they, what did you say they checked? They checked how much uh, bamboo carry on? 220 pounds of bamboo, and they're Ooh. also bringing some apples and some vegetables too, Robin. They are ready for a 19-hour flight, and honestly, they are being treated like the celebrities they are. There's a massive press here. They're going to get a police escort to the airport as well. China's been loaning these giant pandas to the United States going back to the 70s. The deal had been continuously extended, but it was set to expire next month, so now they're getting ready for that long trip home, and so many of their adoring fans are saying goodbye. It's the end of an adorable era in the nation's capital. This morning, the pandas at the Smithsonian's National Zoo are packing up for the long trip home. It will be uh, heartbreaking to come here and not have them here. Oh my God. The pandas have served as DC's most popular diplomats for decades, on loan from China, drawing millions of fans, many forming an emotional connection far beyond any typical zoo animal. There's going to be a big hole in my heart. The last remaining trio, Tian Tian, Mei Shang, and their cub, Xiao Qi Ji. They'll be making the 7,000 mile trip on board a FedEx plane, fittingly known as the Panda Express. It's a 19 hour journey to the Conservation Biology Institute in Chengdu. Zoo goers are giving a final fond farewell. We've been here like three times. This is our third time in the last month and enjoying every minute of it. 100 times. 100 times, yeah, there you go. Pandas first arrived in 1972. During President Nixon's visit to China that year, the First Lady mentioned her fondness for the animal. And two months later, China sent two pandas as a gesture of friendship. Fifty years on, some speculate the present-day pandas are being recalled because of increasing tension between the two nations. Though zoo officials say that's not true. There are absolutely no politics involved in this at all. We really are returning these pandas to China. It's the best thing for them right now. It's the best thing for the giant panda conservation program. And many of the other giant pandas in the United States in places like Memphis and San Diego have already been sent back to China. So after today, the last remaining place in the United States where you can see giant pandas at the zoo will be in Atlanta. It is the end of an era here in Washington, D.C., guys. If it's turkeys or if it's pandas, you're our guy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Trevor. At least no panda attacked me this time. <laughs> right, this time. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.